Venom. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here. Uh, I just went to go see the movie Venom. It starred Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, Riz Ahmed, and Jenny Slate. And the director was Ruben Fleischer. So this movie is basically about when Eddie Brock acquires the powers of a symbiote, he will have to release his alter ego, Venom, to save his life. Alright guys, so I went to go see this movie, and actually, it wasn't that bad. Um, I actually, I liked it. Uh, it did have some parts where it was a little weird, per se. I'll get into that later. But um, to start with, I'd probably say... The characters were good. Tom Hardy was really good. He, he's such a good actor. And him playing the character Venom, he did such a great job in it. Um, just the, the jokes between talking to himself, between them two talking with each other, it was pretty good. There's so much action in this movie and how, you know, Venom just took over his body with the motorcycle and the fight scenes. It, they were pretty good. Um, the thing I do have, you know... Wrong, or not wrong, but how do you say it? I should say um, what they, what I thought was kind of wrong with it, was the pace was kind of slow in the beginning. I mean, you got through maybe an hour of the movie until finally picked up with the, the Venom character and the action. Um, you know, you got to know the background story of Eddie Brock, and, you, you know, with um, his... I guess fiance at the time, and but just that uh, the slow pacing in the beginning was slow. The the character of that uh, Ahmed played, who was the villain. I'm not gonna say who it was. It'll show you in the movie. No spoilers. He was kind of okay in a way, but then it was just like he didn't really pop out as a good villain. He was kind of like okay, he's there. All right, whatever. Oh, and also I would probably say the CGI to it, it actually looked like it was from the 90s. Um, or excuse me, not the 90s. From the um, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man, what his CGI looked like. It was kind of like what his movies look like. You think now in the year 2018 here, they would up, you know upgrade or adv advance and the CGI effects, but it was kind of like that of those movies. So that was really what I had a problem with. But it was still a good character. It still looked good. It also felt like the script was kind of rushed. Just let's go, let's go, let's go. We got to get this movie out. I think they could have took more time into producing like this movie into a good storyline, a script, something in that nature. But overall, it, I go I would probably go I don't know how it, 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 I would. This is a movie to see because it is. It, this is. A, it's going to be a trilogy. It's going to probably go into the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man universe with Tom Holland. Um, if you see, if you want to see, if you've seen the Tom Holland movie, this new Spider-Man movie, see this movie because somehow they said they're going to incorporate it maybe into the third movie. Maybe we'll see. But, I mean, it was okay. I enjoyed myself. I liked the action scenes. They were great. I liked the, the CGI was a little off. At times, um, like I said, the action was great. Uh, the storyline was eh. Tom Hardy was good. He's a good actor. I like him. Just his quirkiness and his funny way he does stuff. But overall, if you want to see the movie theater, go see it. If you want to wait out and comes out on Netflix demand or something else, then do that. You know, so it's it's your choice. Um, but anyway, now it's time for fun facts. Tom Hardy's son is a fan of Venom, so Hardy took the role to please his son. His son guided his father on how to portray uh, Brock Venom, since Hardy, Hardy didn't know the character very well. Tom Hardy also provided the voice and physical stand-in for several scenes of Venom. Tom Hardy recorded his lines for the Venom symbiote during the pre-production and were played back to the actor through an earpiece piece on set during scenes where Brock and the symbiote talk to each other. Also, film takes place outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And finally, this was originally going to be re 
released with an R rating, but Sony executives decided to cut it down to a PG-13 for any potential tie-ins with the Spider-Man MCU. And that's it, guys. That's my uh, review on Venom. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for the support. Share. Smash that like button. Hit the bell so you know, we'll be notified when my next video is going to be up. And as always, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. What a nice review, Nick. Why, thank you. Wait. Did you guys hear that? What, what, what was that? Oh, boy. Here we go.